Uh, now, let's go over to uh, my first guest. Uh, he is former Border Force Chief Immigration Officer, Kevin Saunders. Morning, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Yeah, lots of Kevins around today, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, now, uh, extraordinary events yesterday. First of all, we began the day. Uh, right, don't forget, we're in the midst of this uh, argy bargy over the uh, barge in Portland, Dorset, uh, where there's supposed to be 500 migrants on board. So far, there's about 20, and a mass of immigration lawyers making up lies for the rest of them. They're terrified of water. Uh, it reminds them of escaping from ISIS. The boat. I mean, I don't care if it reminds you of escaping from ISIS. What am I supposed to do on, about that? Get on the barge and shut up. But it's a mess there. So we thought that was the story. Then suddenly, while we were obsessing on that, uh, yesterday morning, new figures were revealed, uh, disclosing that s since 2018, now uh, we've topped the six-figure mark. We've a hundred, more than a hundred thousand, have now arrived since 2018 in small boats. And as we were digesting that uh, uncomfortable information, guess what? So this morning, it emerges that while we were talking about all that yesterday, a record 750 migrants crossed the channel in 14 small boats yesterday. Uh, this situation, Kevin, is now officially completely out of control, isn't it? Yes, it wasn't a good day for Border Force yesterday because one of their vessels broke down and they lost a drone as well. So... Uh, I don't imagine the Home Secretary is enjoying reading the newspapers over her cornflakes this morning. Uh, um, it's been a bit of a shambles this week, has it really has. We're, we've got the barge with, as you so rightly say, so few people on it because people are frightened of water. Yet they're quite happy to come across the Mediterranean and they're quite happy to come across the yeah, channel. Yeah, Kevin, sorry to interrupt, but I've been saying this all week. When these migrants and their expensive immigration lawyers that we, the British taxpayer, pay for in terms of legal aid, when they say, uh, oh, I'm not getting on that barge because I, I, I've got a terror of water, they are lying. It's as simple as that. Nobody believes that, and quite rightly nobody believes it. It's a crock. Yeah, spot on, it is. Absolutely. So why, why did it take us 24 hours to say, get on the damn boat or we'll cancel your asylum claim? I mean, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and, um, and also, Kevin, uh, you, in view of that uh, deadline, that ultimatum, they haven't done that. I mean, they, 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 that dissolved very quickly. They said, right, they've got, this was about Tuesday, I think. Right, you've got 24 mm -hmm. hours to get on the boat. Otherwise, we cancel your asylum applications and we withdraw all government support. Uh, quite what that means or would have meant, I don't know. Uh, because once you cut them adrift, where do they go? What happens to them? But that's another issue. The point is um, that the government said, we will cancel your asylum applications and we will get tough with you uh three days on from that pledge they're saying oh we're hoping that more will be on by the end of the week so that tough stance quickly dissolved to nothing they, they didn't do this they haven't cancelled their asylum applications and this sums up the nature of this migrant crisis we in britain our government it, we're just this ridiculous soft touch yes you're 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 you're, you're right it is but go, going back to the barge, just for a second or two, uh, they did put more people on it. Some of the people did change their mind. But what the government can't do um, is they can't leave these people destitute. They're legally required to house them. So it's a bit of a nonsense, really. But the government have, have it all in their own hands. We've got Wethersfield, where we've only got 50-odd people in. Yeah, that's we'll about 2,000 2, capacity, isn't it, or something? Yeah, 2,000 like 50 people, it's great, isn't it? And they've got 50 in there. <laughs> and Scampton as well, which will take another 2,000, which isn't happening So at the moment. So, for God's sake, guys, you know, they, they really need to get their finger out. Because once the barge works, they've said that they will use other barges. And it, it's all very well for the ports to say, we won't have the barges here. But the government can twist their arms and tell them that they will, and that's that. Yeah. Um, I mean, so if if this barge works, then they'll put other barges in. But at the end of the day, 
um, stick them all off to Rwanda. <laughs>